Light is the source for all things to grow. What will be the future of human beings without light? Light spreads all over the earth, so people can see this beautiful world with eyes. What will happen to human beings without eyes? A recent survey showed that the incidence of myopia seen among children is 25% to 50% in Western countries and as high as 80% in Southeast Asia areas. The incidence of myopia among adults has doubled over the past 30 years, with nearly more than 30% of adults having to wear glasses. How did this happen? What's the reason for this? The reason is like this. The evolution of our eyes is out of step with the development of science and technology. During the past 30 years, electric light, TV, computers and cell phones can be seen everywhere in our life and has stimulated our eyes. Professor Richard Funk, a famous German ophthalmologist, had his report, Blue Light Can Seriously Threat Retinal Neuron, published on the European Journal of Neuroscience in August 2011. The report pointed out that continuous irradiation of blue light, especially the light of LED lamps, cell phones, and computer screens contain a large amount of high-energy, shortwave blue light with irregular frequency which will cause vision problems. This picture will show you how ultraviolet rays and blue light can hurt our eyes. UVB, which has a wave band of 280 to 350 nanometers, will lead to sunburns and red, itchy and sore skin. UVB is a carcinogen and UVA can cut through clouds and glass, shine into indoors and cars, and it radiates into the dermis of our skin to destroy elastic fibers and collagen fibers and blacken our skin. It also causes skin aging and wrinkles, and when it enters into the lens of our eyes, it causes cataract. However, the new international criterion of hurting eyes is a kind of mixed light called UVT Max, which is composed of near ultraviolet, visible purple light, and visible blue light, whose wavelengths are about 380 to 400 nanometers. The short waves and high energy of these lights can enable them to penetrate through the lens and reach the retina where blue light may cause free radical. Free radical can make pigment epithelial cells in the retina dye and make photosensitive cells innotritious and also cause impaired vision, which will finally lead to maculopathy, retractile lens and myopia. This is horrible. By comparing the LED spectrum and the solar spectrum, we found that the LEDs with a wave band of 380 to 460 nanometers contain more purple and blue light, while the main wave band of the solar spectrum is 500 to 600 nanometers. Obviously, it is the short wave blue light that the LED uses to get white light through the incitation of fluorescent powder, while the sunlight gets white light through yellow and green light. Figure 1 is the solar spectrum, while figure 2 is the iPad spectrum. So how can we handle the harm from the screen? Connect cares about your healthy eye concerns and launches the VPS series. The era of Man Machine Double Protection Screen Protector is coming right before you. Experiment 1. 100% Filtration of Ultraviolet Rays You can see the feature of 100% filtration of UV400 of our products. We use the ultraviolet rays of UV400 to test lamps. By irradiating the anti-counterfeiting printing on an RMB 100 banknote under the protection of two protectors, you can clearly see that the black protector cannot block UV400 light, but our VPS protectors can block the UV400 light instantly, which proves that ultraviolet rays cannot be blocked by the black color. Experiment 2. The 100% blocking of blue light with wavelengths within 400 nanometers. We use the same two protectors as mentioned above, First we shine UV400 light onto white paper, then we can see a dazzling bluish purple light. With two protectors on hand in a parallel manner and moved under the lit UV400 light, you can see that the black protector cannot block bluish purple light because there is still a bluish purple light on the white paper. But there is no bluish purple light on the VPS protector and only a little harmless purple light without any energy is on the paper since the blue light is filtered by the VPS protector. Experiment 3. Blocking ultraviolet rays and avoiding melanin. We imitated the scene of having human being skin irradiated by UV without the blocking of a VPS protector. We then found the human being skin damaged by UV and producing melanin. 
This proves that with the blocking of our VPS protector, light containing strong energy will not damage the skin and produce melanin even after a long time of radiation. Let's find out how our VPS protectors work. The light transmittance of our protector can be as high as 78%, which is 10% higher than privacy protectors. Though it builds a healthy wall between you and the LED screen, no way does it affect your vision because you can just open it as opening your curtains. When we put the VPS protector between you and the LED screen, it starts working since it can know immediately what light is transmittable and which ones are not. As long as it feels electromagnetic waves of high frequency and high energy, the nanometer materials contained in VPS protectors will witness energy conversion. Protect your health now. Contact our Connect sales representatives for more details. Email inquiry at connectonline.com.